Hello everyone, this is Rashida. Welcome to my channel. In my last video, we worked on a simple linear regression where we had only one training feature. And in this video, we will work on a multiple linear regression where we will have several training features. And for this tutorial, we will use a dataset that almost resembles a real world dataset. Let's see the dataset first. Import pandas as pd and now df pd.read. Uh, CSV insurance.csv DS. This is the dataset. I have the link to the dataset in the description box below. Please feel free to download and follow along. So, this is the insurance dataset. We have age, sex, BMI, children, smoker, region, and charges. These are our variables. Before we can move on, we need to do some work on this dataset. Look, the sex, region, and smoker are categorical variables and contain string values. We need to convert them to numeric values. So let's do that. Start with sex. First, we need to convert it to as type category. And then let's convert dot cat codes. Now let's look at df now. Look, instead of male and female, we have 0 and 1 now. So we need to change smoker and region in the same way. Let's copy them and paste. Look at the df. Look, all of them are numeric now. Now we need to check if any of these columns contain any null values. df dot is null dot sum. Look, there is no null values. So the data set is totally ready for the modeling. Now what is the task today? The task today is using all these variables and predicting the charges. So these variables are the training features and charges will be our labels. In our last video, we have seen that this is our linear regression formula, y equals to mx plus c, where x is the training feature and y is the label. So we have only one training feature and one label. And what happens when we have several training feature? So in multiple linear regression, we have several training feature, right? So instead of x, we will have x1, x2, x3, all the way up to xn. Instead of m, we will have m1, m2, m3, all the way up to mn. And the formula will become like this. m1, x1, plus m2, x2, all the way up to mn, xn, plus y-intercept. As we already mentioned before, these are our training features. So let's define the training features. Df dot drop columns columns charges so this is our training features look the training features we have all the variables except the charges and our label our label is df charges the next step is to split the data set so that we can keep portion of the data set for the training and portion of the data set for the testing for that, we are going to use train test split method from the scikit-learn library. Dot model selection import train test split. Okay, now x train x test. Not this way. X train x test. Y train y test. Then I will use this train test split method. We will pass our x, y, and test size 0 0.3. So test size 0 0.3 means this will keep 30% of the data for the testing as x test and y test, and 70% of the data for training. Then random state 0. 
the random state will help you recreate the same train test split if necessary. We are ready for our machine learning model now. So first we will import the linear regression from sklearn dot linear model import linear regression. Okay. Now we will save the linear regression model to this variable LR. Then let's feed our training data to the linear regression model. X train, sorry, Y train. Yeah, the model should be trained now. So let's see the parameter. First, see the Y intercept, LR dot intercept. Uh, this is the y-intercept and m lr dot quest that is coefficient m you can see we have six coefficients for our six training features so we have six training features so we got our six coefficients so the model training is done the training part is done now we need to see if the model is actually working let's try to predict the charges using the training set y pred train lr dot predict so we are going to use the predict method and we will pass x train it should predict the charges for this x train data now y pred train so yeah the prediction is done but how good is the prediction let's check import matplotlib dot I plot as plt, plt dot getter, y train, and y pred train. So if we put this x train in the x direction and this x pred train in the y direction, we will actually see how good is the prediction in terms of visualization. Actual charges and plt dot Y label is going to be our predicted charges. So PLT dot show. For some of the data, prediction looks pretty good here and here, but for some of the data, it looks very sparse. How do we know how much prediction is good and how much prediction is actually not that good? We can use R square value or R2 score. So we have to import R2 score from sklearn.matrix. Import R2 score. So R2 score, we need to pass Y train and Y pred train. So 73. This is the R2 score. What R2 score does, it shows you how close the data have fitted to the regression line or the portion of the variance for a dependent variable, that means the charges can be explained by the independent variables in a regression model. And the independent variables are our training features. What portion of the variance in the charges can be explained by our training features? So this is 0 0.73. So R2 score can be from zero to one. If the R2 score is closer to one, that means model is better. If the R2 score is closer to zero, that means the model is really bad. So it's 0 0.3, it's actually closer to one. So we can say that the model is acceptable. It can be further improved. There are several ways we can try to improve our model, but we will talk about it in some later video. So all this time we evaluated the model using the training data. And we also use the training data to train the model. We will know how the model is working actually when we will use the testing data because our model never have seen the testing data, right? So let's try with testing data. Y pred test. So error dot credit x test. And now I will try this visualization with testing data. So y test and y pred test you can see we have almost similar kind of visualization now check with 
R2 score. We will give X test and Y pred test. So we have 79%. So it looks like testing data, it actually worked better, but maybe it's just close. We, we had only 30% data for the testing purpose. So less data, less error. So we got better R2 score. Our model is not bad. It's actually pretty good. Please try with some of your own data set and feel free to share if you found anything interesting. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching.